What's going on, YouTube? Got a package in the mail today. I even got two packages in the mail today. PSA first or mail day? I think I'll go mail day first, leave everyone in suspense. Although this mail day is pretty significant for me today. There are two Charizards in here. Uh, and the seller threw in, I think, 15 or so other cards. Um, they even reshipped them to me because I didn't think that, um, well, what they did was they put the cards just in penny sleeves and put them in this Ultra Pro, and they sent me a picture, and I said I wasn't satisfied with that, so they went back to the UPS store and got the cards back, um, and bought these top loaders and shipped them that way, so I very much appreciate that, uh, if you are currently watching that video this video and you're the person who sold me these cards the the fine couple who sold me these cards all right so they definitely put two into each one but let's just show you some of the cards that are here shining gyarados gyarados jancy machamp japanese hypno alakazam japanese dark blastoise non-hollow blastoise base set two hollow Hey, Bulbasaur thrown in, because I told them it was my favorite. Egyptian Mew, Ancient Mew. Ooh, there's a huge crease going down this Venusaur here. Um, was there anything on the back of that? Oh, a little Ivysaur. Pinsir. Oh, a Alakazam in a different language. Uh, Mew EX card. That's pretty cool. Misty Cedra, not the pre-release. These are the cards that I purchased. Is this Charizard, Shiny Charizard, and Charizard. So those are the ones that I'm very interested in taking a look at further later. But they also threw in a Shining Tyranitar. Very nice couple. Umbreon. There are a bunch of bends all over the Umbreon, as you can see there. Still a really cool card. Uh, Aerodactyl from the Fossil Set. Kabutops. All right. Those are pretty cool cards. Now let's get into this PSA return. There should be 10 cards in here. Uh gonna open them off screen because it takes so much time sorry for the loud noises I'll back off a little bit for the microphone here now I do know there's a dark Charizard in here from Team Rocket uh, I do know there's a first edition Dragonair from Jim Challenge and that's the one I really want to see get a, a 10 but pretty much all these cards I don't expect 10s from I'd be very happy with 10s. There's a possibility of 10s coming because um, they're all in pretty good shape. Let's see here. These boxes, they do such a good job. There we go. Pop that bad boy open. You can tell from my struggle that it's real. <laughs> all right, let's get that package slip out of the way and they package these so good. All right, there's from the back. There we go. We got ourselves some PSA slabs. Alexa, continue Pandora, please. Got to have some music playing in the background. Oh, maybe not. We're going to go old school here. No music. First up is Giovanni's Machamp. There we go. Some tracks in the back. I'm seeing a pretty good card here. Mm, there's a tiny nick down right there. It's probably going to... Let's see if I can get in there. That might change it from the 9. Maybe even an 8. That's a big nick down there at the bottom. 9. That nick got it a 9. Okay. Let's see what's next. The <laughs> Blaine's Charizard right off the bat. It's looking pretty, pretty saucy here. Pack's looking really nice too, actually. There is a tiny white dot down there at the bottom. Maybe a nine. Let's go, mint nine. I'm really good at getting those nines so far. We got the Erica's Dragon Air. This is the one that I wanted the 10 on. I'm pretty sure it's a flawless card. Maybe the centering might be a little bit from top to bottom. The back is so good too, but there is a tiny little nick right there that I'm noticing now that maybe, yeah, 
There's the nine, a little bit of centering issues. Still a very beautiful card. Next up is Dark Dragonite. It's looking pretty good too. There are quite a lot of scratches actually. Maybe a, I'm gonna guess a seven at this point because those scratches were pretty significant. Maybe an eight if I'm lucky. There we go, eight. Nice, beautiful card. <clears throat> Next up, Dark Blastoise, heavy hitter, first edition. If I can get this in a nine, I'd be very happy. There's a little dot right there that I could have just cleaned off. Right there, I don't know if you get, yep, there it is. Ooh, a six. Ooh, that's, that's pretty low. I'll have to check that out later and see why it got the six, because it looks pretty nice here. Maybe there's something I'm not, there has to be something I'm not seeing. All right, next up, Tark Charizard first edition. This card, I was also hoping for uh, a higher grade, like a nine. Um, this card, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it can't be a 10. I would have gotten an email saying that, hey, you guys are gonna, I, I need to pay for the next level service up. So if this card had gotten a 10, <laughs> I would have had to pay more. So that's how I know that this one's not a 10. But I'm really hoping for a nine at this point and not a six like this Dark Blastoise. No, awesome, awesome. That is awesome. Because I do have it in an eight. Uh, now I have it in a nine, a little bit of an upgrade there. Next up, Mr. Mime. I got this from a Poker Rev stream. Uh, paid like 250 bucks for a pack, and the Mr. No Mr. Mime came fresh out of it. Nine. That's what I thought. Centering was a little bit off. Even during his stream, he was like, yeah, probably again nine. All right, next up, Base Set Machamp. I think I popped this one out of a, one of those sealed ones. I had a bunch of sealed ones from my childhood. I'm not seeing too many print lines. I am seeing maybe one going on right here. Um, the back is pretty pretty good. It's shifted from left to right, as you guys can see. Mint eight, yeah, both of those got it. The centering and the, the scratching, or the uh, print lines. So an eight. Only two left. Venusaur, my favorite. Be really nice to, oh, there's some scratches that I'm seeing. Uh, probably an eight because those scratches aren't that significant, but there is some whitening there at the bottom right too. Uh, I just don't see this card being a nine. There we go, eight. Thought so. Last card, Blastoise. I really would like a nine for this card because I do have it at an 8.5. If it was a gem in 10, I wouldn't be too dissatisfied either, but I'm pretty sure not because they would have charged me extra if it got the 10. Yeah, nine. That's awesome, though. Really happy, really happy with this submission here. Uh, if you guys want to tune in, actually, maybe I should get open these really quick so that uh, the people who sold me these could actually see my live reaction to the quality of these cards. Um, Shining Charizard. It's the one that I was going for. Uh, looks really nice. There is tiny dots right here that would actually make it a probably a PSA 6. Uh, not liking those little dots, but the card in general is really nice. Uh, and definitely an upgrade from what I have right now. The Shining Charizard that I have right now is atrocious. And then let's check out this other Charizard. Might as well do it all in one video. Uh, not too much whitening. There's significant whitening there at the top right. Uh, the hollow itself looks really nice. Uh, there's some scratches there going down right where he's breathing out the fire. Uh, the front looks great compared to the back. The back, not that great. But overall, still a really nice card. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.